Okay. We are live. Hello, everybody. Everybody hear me okay? Oh, that is staticky. Yeah, yeah. David Rotman along with you here to witness the finest no holds barred talent fighters in the world. Tonight, can you not hear it? Yeah, I can. Six it's a head to head in a single elimination uh, tournament to determine who will be the world's Valley Tudo champion. It's fine, it's fine. And of course, hey, um, okay, so stream, okay, so stream has started. It's uh, very strange. Um, if you know if you listen, no you can hear a delay. No it's like you can hear me talking. Yeah, 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 no, I know. Yeah. So you don't want that. Um, no, actually, yeah, it's fine. Sorry, guys. Sorry, we are technical, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties as Hi, always. Hi, Spectre. Um, yes, yeah, so as you can see, we are watching um, Valley Two World Valley Tudo Championships number one. We can't hear anything. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, it's weird. We we can't actually hear it because if you if we listen to ourselves, you can on hear the, stream, the delay. It's a uh, yeah. I'm just listening to my own voice talking back to me, which is bizarre. But we can't see it, and you guys can hear both. So you know, if anything interesting happens, just let us know. But um, yeah. So this is hello everybody. Um, oh, thanks, who, Benny. Who's, who's? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Benny's a jet. Yes, uh, we are. We're all here just for. Oh, that's more. a man in a cape. That is a beautiful cape. Mm -hmm. That is Fred Floyd, who is a kung fu master. Apparently, I did not know kung fu masters wore capes, but yeah. that one does. You know. Oh, what's it say? What's it say? What's it say? What's it, what's it say? I can't see it. Oh, come on, flip up the hood. Let me see. Bart, yes, you did listen to me reading Ninja Smut and my wife. Yeah, we did that. We did that shit. Find another one. Maybe we'll do it again. Ooh, that's, that's a, a, that that's a, a big, big boy. boy. Man, he said he was 330 pounds. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Spectre Raven. What's up, man? Good to see you again. He can kick. Yeah, surprisingly high kicks for such a big dude. Anonymous, good to see you too. It's a lot of smoke. A lot. I bet, uh, yeah, I also, Mr. Void, I bet Camp Dante rocked more than just a cape. Already seeing a size discrepancy here Little by about a hundred pounds. <laughs> Allegedly, they're the same height. <laughs> so at least he's got that going for him. Cole Harvey Shaw, thank you, man. Um, to keep an eye out for Fight Circus. I'm not going to spoil anything or, or give anything away, but they've got some, some pretty big stuff uh, lined up soon. Um, if everything goes according to plan, it's probably going to be their biggest uh, show yet. Like proper, proper big names, like bigger than Rampage, bigger than Bob Sapp, if that's physically possible. Wow. How much roids are these guys on? All the roids. Well, actually, no, I don't think uh, Big Guy's on too much roids. He's just on, you know, KFC. You leave that big boy alone. He could eat all the KFC he wants until his heart explodes. Oh, God, he could be dead. This is Yeah, I show. know. Yeah, I know he's a yeah. This guy. <laughs> that is a beautiful suit this guy is wearing. It clearly fits him and was made to measure. Yeah, yeah. This is a man who knows the importance of a good suit. Um, it's always sunny. Apparently, he's yeah, one hundred pounds heavier. It's. Uh, I mean, I don't believe the stats. It said he was three thirty pounds, and the other guy was two twenty five. But I, don't know, I think that's bullshit. Oh, thank, thank you, you Sean very much. Alexander. I appreciate that, man. And where is this taking place? This is in Japan. Ah. The, uh, it's a Brazilian uh, 
promotion, but for whatever reason, most of their stuff uh, took place in Japan. At least all their best. Andrew Hunt, these are absolutely strength fighter characters. I still want to see uh, Slaughter Sport happen. You never, I never showed you Slaughter Sport, right? No. Slaughter. Was it like X Arm plus UFC plus people tr- strapped in chainsaws and shit like that? Um, basically, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it was uh, a concoction by a weirdo online who I stumbled across while researching the last video and he basically thought that MMA was for pussies and was like we need to scrap all rules all regulations uh, I think you told me about that just get everybody juiced to the gills he drew all these uh, hand drawn uh, character a storyboard bios. he fucking made a character bios for 65 people he was dedicated to this <laughs> shit like he had the names the countries everything 65 fucking strength fighters. Um, do you know you sound like the Irish Ray Romano, apparently? Um, oh, 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 uh, Purple Shorts is out of the ring already. <laughs> um, who's Ray Romano? Did, oh, uh, the guy who was in that show. Everybody loves us. Raymond, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God damn. That, uh, that seems kind of unfair. Good touch. If there's a little advantage. I think he just took a knee in the balls as well. Apparently the uh, the big dude's a, a kung fu fighter, which I mean I'm not seeing a lot of kung fu here. No name. Hey, um, how are things in Miami? Man? Oh yeah, and the good thing about uh, Slaughter Sport, as Outer Webs mentions here, was there was no dress code. That was you could specified. just roll up. You roll up yeah. in your gray sweatpants. Yeah, and just... you could wear whatever you want. Uh, Liam Lemport. Yeah, there's there's always a delay when you're streaming, man. Um, it depends on your, your software, your computer, your internet connection, but there's usually, like, I don't know, like 15 seconds or so, so. So if you hear us going, oh my god, and nothing is happening on screen, it's, it's the delay. Oh god, oh, oh god, the, oh, the dude's on top of him, that's... That is not going to end well. So in your opinion, what can Purple Trunks do to survive here? Pray? Yeah. To all the gods? Yes. All of them. Some of the ones that haven't been invented yet? Mm. Nothing. He done. Oh, Dr. Cornwater. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah, the Sean Baby podcast was a lot of fun. Man. That, uh, um, him and Robert Brock were really fucking cool. Kimmy Slayhouse, we definitely need a gray pants, sweatpants fighting league. Mm, where you going dressed like a slut? <laughs> Apparently, gray sweatpants are slutty. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you again, Dr. Cornwater. That is Sorry. Awesome. Sorry about that. <laughs> Think about gray sweatpants. And also, good to see you again, Kimmy Slayers. It's been a while. Okay. I, oh, yeah. I kind of missed uh, what happened in the fight there. Was, he won was is what chat. happened. Who won? <laughs> God damn, that's, that's a big boy. I don't know, I, I can't lie. I, I kind of miss this era of MMA. I really do. I like when it was just, you know, fuck it. Let's just see what happens. Thank you, Connor, much. You're, you are awesome. Cause, oh, oh, Connor, you've got a picture of a cat in your profile. I like it. We actually haven't done a live in a very long yeah, time, Kimmy. Yeah. I checked the last live we did was November. So it's been a while. They they are difficult to set up. Um, I always struggle with the fucking audio and the you settings. You should hear the string of swears that come out of him. Yeah, it's, it's rough. It's rough. Um, and, you know, they, need, it, it's, it, they are work. I used to think that streaming was easy and that, you know, people who did it were just, you know, you know, fucking, uh, anyone can do that shit. But once you actually try and do it, it's, it's a lot harder than you think. Ghostface, damn, that's, yeah, that's that's YouTube about to get me, man. They, they, don't, they don't send those notifications to everybody. 
I don't even get them. Really? I follow you and I never ever see your shit. My own wife doesn't even get the notifications. No, no, no. Alex, Holly, um, the, yeah, we, we gotta make another Sean Baby uh, and Brockway and me podcast, definitely. I don't know, I'm kind of, um, I don't know what's going to come next on this. I've never seen this uh, Valley Tudo thing before. Or, I mean, I've seen Valley Tudo, but not this event. So, I mean, I'm interested to see what's going to happen. This guy looks like a uh, low-rent Tito Ortiz, oh, which is, which I wasn't is quite really low-rent. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, okay, no, okay, because I was, I was getting different vibes there. But never mind. No, I, 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 uh, uh, Spectre would like a blooper reel of you swearing. Let me reenact it for you, because of this... For fuck's sake. Fuck. <sighs> and just, just eye rolls. OBS. Just eye rolls. Eye rolls. Eye rolls. Eye rolls. Non stop. Like a teenage girl. You do. And you probably just did it right there. I wasn't looking at you, but I bet you did. I would decide we definitely need a Yama pit fighting too. Pit fighting is the best base for MMA. Oh, unquestionable. Oh, it would be yes. A Mike Pacholik is a pit fighting that savant. L- Luda Livre. Luda Livre. It's, 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 Sp- it's a, Spanish, just another term yeah. for uh, for Valley Tudo. Uh, so it just means free fighting. Oh, Sean Alexander, that's a great idea. Actually, we could stream um, Ultimate Force Crow Cops, uh, one point seven out of ten movie. No, no, it wasn't one point seven. That's Brendan Chubb's comedy special. Got a 1.7 out of 10 on IMDb. What the hell was a uh, Crow Cops movie? I made a whole thing about it in the Pride video. I can't remember what it what its IMDb score was. Huh? Specter Raven loves you. Look at that. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I sound like something from South Jersey, huh? <laughs> Mr. Void, speaking of chemo, I heard some awesome stories about chemo recently. Um, I was talking to a guy who was, uh, took part in like some of the very early UFCs, like uh, I think from like UFC 3 to 8, and uh, chemo was a fucking crazy dude. Crazy dude. Um, he, he, was, he, he, did, he did not have a Taekwondo black belt, believe it or not. They made up the whole thing about him having a Taekwondo black belt just to get him into the UFC. Because they figured he could beat the shit out of Hoist Gracie easily. What's the deal with slapping yourself like that? Uh, it's just to psych yourself up. Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh. This guy looks like Steve-O. If Steve-O yeah, had, right? If Steve-O <laughs> hadn't done all the drugs. That's kind of what I thought. I was like, a Hispanic Steve-O? What am I? With weird fucking armpits? <laughs> Wait, Outer Webs, is Ultimate Force actually up to 7.5 out of 10 on IMDb? Ah, oh, 2.8. God damn it. I was, I was trying to get people to uh, to pump up those numbers on uh, Ultimate Force, but looks like I've had no luck. Oh, here we go. I, I don't know which one's Pit Fighter, though. Okay, well, these guys look a little more experienced than uh, the other two. But I guess we didn't get to see a lot of the uh, the skill in the other one because of the uh, size differential. Sorry, Darth Vader. Yeah, sorry. We'll, we'll move the microphone back. I'm just bit. loud. I can't help it. What do you see happening right now, Jim? What I see is that they're staying close, close together. Alex, Holly, um, I, legend has it, Rafael Torre tried to claim this as a win for uh, himself. Oh, it's a nice uh, headbutt there. He is wearing shoes, like with with ties on shoelaces. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you would have been allowed to back in the day. You know, it was this is anything goes rules. This is no holds barred. There was probably no dress code for this either. Sean Alexander, that's all that matters as long as uh, Ultimate Force is rated higher than uh, Brendan Schaub. That's, that, that's my life's goal right there. B-Man Jones, 
I, I see you, man. Fight Circus 7. That's going to be some, some real shit. It is quarter to nine. Mm -hmm. The referee needs to separate these two. For no holds barred, this is, uh, this is not good. I was expecting way more headbutts, groin punches, you know. Titty twisters, titty twisters, that kind of thing. I mean, you, you can't, you can't eye gouge, and you can't uh, bite. That's about it. So technically, there are holds barred, but not many. Thank you, Luke Hope. Uh, AJ, how's it going, man? Hi. Good to see you. Trying not to yell. <laughs> it's, it's not even yelling. I think just it's the microphone. It's when you when you super like. Trying not. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't. I go blah all blah, the time. Yeah. Puds? Wait, put, no. Puds is outside somewhere. <laughs> Puds is a fighter, and he is also our cat. Oh no, he's not outside somewhere. He is sleeping on. Puds is sleeping on my. On jeans. your jeans, yes. Ooh. Ow. Some nice uh, elbows to, to the dome. Elbows, yeah, yeah, to the back of the head. So why does this guy have the Mercedes logo tattooed on his arm? Oh, so you're supposed to be in the ring. Yeah. In yeah. it. He's kind of. I'm kinda pretty sure. Straddling the rope here. That's. Uh, maybe it feels nice. I don't know. We never got to climb the rope in gym class because we didn't have a rope. Um, AJ, yeah, it's like it's ten to nine over here, so it is night time for us. Oh man, what the hell is going on there? This is like some WWE shit. Somebody get the chair. Luke uh, Biscuit is he's in time out at the moment. We have to throw him out of the house <laughs> during dinner because he was being he a was fucking being asshole. A fuckhead! Oh my god, that cat! Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jor Panzer. I appreciate it. Neo Solar, yeah, there, I mean, there's some wrestling vibes. But not as entertaining. Oh, it's pretty entertaining. I mean, look at these two dudes. No, I need them to have characters. I need it to be camp. You can make up the characters as they go. I mean, this guy's probably, I don't know, neo-Nazi. I mean, I'm judging on the, uh, the Iron Cross tattoo that he has there. Well, you're hitting yourself. Well, you're hitting yourself. That was an early stoppage. The Spectre Biscuit is never going to forgive us for that cape. That's right, Ned. He used up his liability and it worked for him. He got back outside. He gave uh, Danellison one good shot. He climbed up top and started pounding away. And that's what he said he was going to do in his interview with me earlier. Um, Luke, yeah, no, I played Elden Ring when it came out. Uh, finished it twice, I think. Um, oh, it's awesome. There's, there's stuff I, I don't like about it. The reused bosses and stuff like that. But, I mean, you can kind of understand why they're in there. Because it's such a massive game. But, uh, overall, that's legendary stuff. Take one more look at the punishment. Right before he taps out and said I had had enough. And poor Steve O. This is his origin story of how he got into Jackass Pro. Alright. Howard Petzler is alongside to uh, grab Michael and get his comments. And um, when are we gonna see me in the octagon slash ring? Only uh, if he's cleaning it. Talk to B-Man Jones from Fight Circus there, he can tell you. Big 
boost that he took the Brazilian out of this round. I think he was really worried about the guys. When yeah, it, it, it took me a long time to finish Elden Ring as well. Like, I, I kind of, I missed a, an awful lot of stuff the first time around. Um, and it was like, I don't know, maybe three months uh, in a single playthrough. Um, and I came back to it a few months later to clean up the stuff I missed and then started using magic for once with a new character. I think I've got like 300 hours in it, but it's, it's good, man. It's a good game. Oh, Mr. Void, I did play Sifu, and I hated it. I don't know if I was playing it wrong or what, but uh, I just could not get into that game. And like that's a, on paper, Sifu is absolutely my shit because it's basically like John Wick the video game. But I just, yeah, maybe I did. I read the the instructions wrong or something. But the whole you get older every time you die meant that uh, 20 minutes into the game, I was like a doddering 80 year old trying to fucking kick people's asses, and I would lose in like seconds. And I was like, this is stupid. I don't like it. Okay, we've got Todd the Butler, who is karate, versus David Hood, representing jiu-jitsu. And this guy's mother walking out to the ring with him. That's an angry woman. She does not look happy to be there. Reality filter, don't worry, man. You, you haven't missed much. You, you just missed the technical difficulties at the start. Uh, the lion, that's all good, man. Enjoy your weekend, man. Just bleed. David Thomas, yeah, I mean, this was the early 90s. It could have been Japanese jiu jitsu. Jess Simpson, damn. Thank wow, you so thank much. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. I hope you are keeping well, Jess. What is going on here? Is he wearing a belly top? Belly top. <laughs> belly top. <laughs> no, no, but no. he has got the sleeves. Oh, no, it does look it like, a belly, looks like a belly top, top right? He looks like um, Robert Patrick from uh, Terminator 2. No, he reminds me of the dude from Cobra Kai. Um, which like, one? The, the guy. The main guy. But when, if, when he was young. No, the bad side. Yeah. Cobra Kai. Oh, okay, okay. Crease. No, yeah, the other yeah, side. him. But like when he was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J Master, J Watt. Um, yeah, dude, uh, karate, I know it gets a bad rap, but it is pretty badass. Like, if you go back and watch, like, Patrick Smith's fights or any of those old-school karate guys, I mean, they were legit badasses. Damn, they could kick serious ass with karate. He just looks like he does not want to be there. It's got a Mario Lopez thing going yeah, on a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Mm. Kind of Saved by the Bell vibes. He's got that 90s, like... He's not ugly, but he's got that, like, 90s model. He's not ugly, but... Look! <laughs> no, not my type. It's a very dated look, but he, he's got, like, a 90s model look. Oh, is this guy going to fight in his t-shirt? In do his it, belly do top? It, do it, do it. <laughs> yes, Andy Hogg is a legit badass. Thank you, totally not redneck, y'all. Um, Luke, I did watch Cobra Kai. I watched the first like three seasons. And it got then, too. It was too much. It was too much. It was so it was so much. much too much. Uh, every season was kind of the same after that. And it was just like, like surely to God they would have just outlawed karate in the valley at this point. There are just too many karate <laughs> too many related incidents. incidents. <laughs> oh, okay. So um, Belly Top is the karate guy, clearly. And uh, yeah, this dude's representing jiu-jitsu. I've never heard of him. Because clearly I should know everyone who uh, does jiu-jitsu. AJ, that is some impressive style, all right. Oh, that was a nice uh, overhand right. And a knee to the balls. This is great stuff. Another knee to the balls from the jiu-jitsu guy. I'm surprised by that. 
the same time holding He has seen Bucky, Fred. Yeah, Fred, I have seen Bucky. I That's the one where they have 27 abs, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he spends an entire episode fighting an invisible praying mantis. Actually, he kidnaps... Is he trying to poke his eyes out? That would be illegal. That would be well, illegal. Well, I mean, in theory. This looks saucy. Mr. Cheeks. Oh, shit. I forgot Tyron Woodley is in uh, Cobra Kai, yeah. I mean, it's got to be a step up from his rap career. Uh, unhinged singer, sinner. This is uh, this is no holds barred. Cat at the window. Good shot. Great action already in this fight. However, uh, it is all seemingly in one area. As uh, we just ignoring snack back. Is okay. that what we're doing? Um, just letting the cat in. Hold on. Come on, so I think uh, Todd would like to see a little bit more of his grappling style against David. There he takes him to the mat. Now he has him. Uh, for all you cat fans, I'm sure Biscuit will put in an appearance later. You will hear him screaming. I guarantee it. Oh, Spectre Raven. That uh, that celibacy scene with uh, Baki was just the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Man. I almost had a heart attack watching that episode. If anybody has never seen Baki, you need to at least watch the episode where his dad is encouraging him to uh, bone his girlfriend. What? So Baki's in bed with his girlfriend, and you know Baki's like, "I'm a virgin," and uh, you know it's all getting kind of kind of hot and heavy. And then he's like, no, I can't uh, give up my virginity. It, it's what gives me power or some shit like that. And then his dad just like mysteriously appears in the room, like teleports in. He says, get just, it in, son. Yes. <laughs> he starts screaming at him like, you need to do it. Do it. Do it till you can't do it no more. All this kind of stuff. Uh, snowboard. Uh, snack pack's too stupid to plot our doom. We're not worried about that one. Yeah, snack pack's the really stupid one. Right now, David has to do uh, Roko Taco. Yeah, there's some some quite good uh, MMA mangas. Um, what was the one I was reading? Um, the uh, All Rounder All Rounder Maguri. Very good. Uh, you're probably not supposed to put your uh, hands on their face like yeah, that, right? Yeah, you can. You can. can. Yeah, that's just to disrupt people's breathing and annoy them. It's, it's quite uh, distracting when someone does that. Too. Yeah, I'd fucking say so. Uh, Robbie, this is World Valley Tudo Championships 1, the beginning. No, Snowboard. She's really fucking stupid. Yeah, no, she's, she is like a fucking bag of wet hair, that cat. She is so stupid. <laughs> she's sweet. She is. She's stupid. lovely. And she likes me more than the other two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, David, uh, that is a, it just look ripe for a power bomb right there. Like, just, again, just, this is when you have to just say jujitsu is not a real thing, and you just stand up. You just stand up out of it and just power bomb his ass. This match continues to draw on, keep in mind. The winner of this bout must fight later on, so the longer this bout goes, the more tired, the less energy he'll have for the next one as we are entering the five minute mark of this match. This could be a problem for Todd. Dave's putting him in an arm bar. This could be it. The cutoff shirt does make you know he's legit. You can't fight for real if, if you don't have the sleeves cut off your t shirt. This will make you look tough. <laughs> this will make you feel tough. Uh, the T Nugs, I love you too, Lou. I'm gonna see you soon, boy. And see, as much as I love jujitsu, here we have a jujitsu guy making this fight boring as fuck. When, you know, we had like karate dude, like just hopping around, ready to do some Bruce Lee shit. And now we're reduced to this. Some kind of advantage, both fighters now uh, wailing away at each other's face, trying to wear the other one out. And 
this is one match that I know both of these guys want to get. Cody to Allen, yeah. Um, if you've not seen it, Super Eye Patch Wolf did a very good video about Tepu, I think it was. Um, it's called the manga that makes you better at fighting. It's really good. The skill level of these fighters and what they're trying to do. That's right. The Japanese audience. Yes, Amber Attorney. He does look like uh, Hicks from Aliens. I knew I, I couldn't place him. I was like, God, that dude's looking familiar. You know, at first it was a guy from Saved by the Bell. Oh, but Lopez. Yeah, yeah. Lopez. To the side, the back, whatever he could do with his fist. And Although it doesn't look like right now he has much force behind those blows. Um, right. Reality yeah, Filter, yeah, I watched the first episode of Tough. Um, I, I was uh, kind of surprised to see that they've brought back alcohol in the house. Um, but I guess it makes sense in a uh, season with Conor McGregor in it that you know they're going to want as much drama as possible and all that shit. Um, I don't think Connor's fucking gonna fight again. I mean, I know he's scheduled to fight Chandler, but I mean, look at the dude. He's juiced to the fucking gills, and every video you see of him, he's just partying. Jor Panzer, thank you, man. I appreciate you. They need to separate these two at this point. This is ridiculous. He, he had to get out of that guard. The guard's the best pod possibility for David right now, and uh, he's controlling a match from here on. Keep in mind, Todd Butler is a fifth grade teacher from uh, Pennsylvania. He's here uh, doing his best. Um, Luke Hope, uh, yeah, well, there was one of the guys from Power Slap was kicked off the show for doing coke on the show, so, I mean, it's not outside the realm of possibility that uh, Connor's going to do the same. Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, Sean, is Connor actually training his team this time? Yeah, he is, and he seems to at least be doing a better job than he did back in season uh, 14, was it, I think? Because he actually uh, took off his suit for once and uh, put on, you know, a fucking rash guard or whatever and uh, did a workout with him. Whereas in that, in that season, I don't think he took the suit off once. Oh, those really tight suits yeah, that he sweats through? Yeah, it's fucking yeah. gross. It was ridiculous, like he was just fucking wearing the shirt and the pit stains were like down to his waist. It's okay if you're sweaty Betty, but like, yeah, you know, like, handle it. Wear a black t-shirt to cover it up. Todd Butler continues to have David Hood down on the mat. Uh, looks like David Hood has gone for some kind of arm Go bar. the arm bar again, Ned. Let's see if Ned, see if uh, Todd can escape that. Todd he does. does, yep. So, uh, Roko Taco. Um, yeah, I, my, the Francis Ngannou deal with PFL, if he gets the money that he's saying that he's going to get, um, then I'm all for it. Oh, with this straight arm bar here. Possibly. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think... Uh, oh, and a nice headbutt too. Uh, but no, I'm happy for Francis. Um, you know, everybody was kind of shitting on him there for a while, being like, you know, oh, he fumbled the bag, he fumbled the bag. But, like, I mean, he got out from the UFC. He fucking, you know, beat Dana at his own game, pretty much. Demanded independence, he got it. And, uh, you know, it's the kind of thing that people should have been happy about instead of, you know, trying to shit on the guy, so... Yeah, I'm glad he got his money from PFL. And I, I, I don't know. I have a hard time believing, though, when he says, like, all his opponents are going to get two mil just to fight him. I don't think PFL has that kind of money. And tap. the hell did he just tap to? There was no whole choke, no nothing locked in. And he was in full mount, but he tapped anyway. Uh, that doesn't make no sense. I was a body lock because I couldn't see the legs. You also weren't really paying attention. Well, well, I wasn't. <laughs> but they were laying down too long. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a shit fight. It was a real shit fight. Should have stood that up and let a karate man just go absolutely buck wild. Is that Harold Clarence Howard there? It looked like Harold Howard without the mullet in his corner. Hey, Panok, hello from Dublin. Uh, I hope uh, things are good in Galway, man. Galway's so pretty. Galway is lovely. We've only been there a couple of times. Or, yeah, you've been there more than me, but yeah. it's a, it is a beautiful place. Yeah. 
yeah, reality filter. I, I, the PFL, just like, I mean, who the fuck is Francis even gonna fight over there? I think most of their uh, heavyweights have all been busted for fucking drugs in the last week as well. A whole bunch of them got uh, done for PEDs. So, unless he fights Kayla Harrison, I don't know. Two Changs, um, a Ryzen Bellator merger maybe in the works. I kind of don't want to see that. I just want Ryzen to be Ryzen. Just, they just need to keep evolving into the uh, the Pride clone that I know they can be. Luke, no one has moved us to a bigger house. Um, definitely not Fight Circus. <laughs> we are going to die in this house. <laughs> I love you, Fight Circus, but yeah... The they're, they're, they're probably not putting us in a, in, a, in a bigger place. Although, again, I have to stress, Fight Circus 7, fucking, I'm not spoiling anything, but you guys, this is big. This is real big. And you heard it here first, but there's some, some fucking massive shit about to go down at Fight Circus 7. Of course, coming up a little bit later on, that super fight between the Brazilian champion Marco Ruiz, who is returning to the ring after a seven-month absence. Since we can't hear it, are they walking out to like early 2000s jams or or what? what's going on? I listened to a little bit of it earlier on. I think it was like some Steve Vai kind of Whitley solos kind of stuff. Huh? Whitley, 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 Whitley. Oh, 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 oh. All right. We, oh, Sambo versus Shoot Fighting. This should be good. Oh, oh, oh. oh. He's got something to say. Look at that. Look at those shoulders. Look at that. Sorry, I'm loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not fucking loud. I just You're not I loud. put more inflection you, you in do. my voice you than do. you do. You do. Dr. Cornwater, yeah. If you haven't seen Fight Circus, you need to watch Fight Circus. Just Google it. You you won't be disappointed. I did some voice work for them. Uh, they're, they're good dudes. Dave Steer. Yeah, the first thing I thought when I saw that dude walking out was like, oh shit, he's got Metrex sponsorship on his gi. This guy means business. I hope he leaves that hat on the whole time. That would be amazing. What's it say on the hat? Ultimate, I don't know. It says Ultimate something. Ultimate champion? I mean, that's a pretty bold claim to make when you're just walking out for your first fight. Yeah, ultimate. It's either ultimate perfection or ultimate champion. Jake sleeps Mayweather at uh, all fight circus is real, man. None of that shit's fake. You, you can't fake fights like that. Oscar Rojas, we do not live with our parents. Um, I just get... Uh, Okay, if you watch the recordings, the voice recordings, his voice is really flat and mine is all spiky and crazy. So, you know what? Um, yeah. what you're just going to turn down? Yeah. I'm just going to turn our levels down a little bit. So, uh, if we do get loud, hopefully it doesn't deafen you guys. Ultimate nutrition. That's disappointing. Ultimate champion would have been way fucking better. Who's going in the bedroom? We're coming out of the bedroom. It's, it's yeah, puddles. We got a cat in the house. It is puddles. Oh, barbed wire tattoo. Sick. That's a beautiful mustache. No, it's not. I want to see him, Dan Severin, and Don Fry in a mustache face on. Canada Phil and Metrex are they're still around. They sponsor mostly uh, strongman uh, tournaments nowadays, I think. Or at least the last time I saw World Strongest Man. Ooh, nice. Last time I saw World Strongest Man, Metrex was everywhere. Are we soulmates? Yeah. I don't think I believe in soulmates, but I think it's, it's, it's if yeah. I think you know. If it was real, we're pretty close. Yeah. I, I think it's kind of ridiculous to think that of the billions of people on billions, millions, billions, 
we have brains in our organ. Out of the eight million people on Earth. <laughs> it was like, no, that's too low. That's too low. Out of the billions of people on Earth, that there's only one person that you know you you would be. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's kind of still goofy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, we're close. Yeah, maybe yeah. yeah, like each other. Most Kinda of time, most of the right? time. Not yet. He said, "Let my side." Portal, say hello to your fans. Like fuck them, I gotta go outside and do stuff. Oh, did we gonna tap that already? Yes, we did. How did you meet me? If you want to tell them. Um, Okay, Cupid. Yeah. That is how we met. Oh, uh, they almost now? shared a sensual kiss. Oh, look at those shorts. They're lovely. The, the old white shorts. Those are man shorts. I feel like if I got a shitty barbed wire tattoo and grew a mustache, I'd look a little bit like that guy. And I'd divorce you. <laughs> See? Thomas thinks I sound Irish. No, you do not Two North Americans, I do. I assume you're North American, Thomas. Um, shout out to you, man, for learning the insult knacker. Which should only be said with an Irish accent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It sounds... It sounds like something else. Like a yeah. slur if anybody else yeah. from outside of Ireland says yeah. knacker. Yeah, yeah. Four seconds in his quarterfinal match, and uh, one with a tap out it through a submission hold. We'll go up against uh, AJ. Brad yeah, I mean, like they make uh, Hollywood uh, movies uh, about that kind of stuff all the time. Taylor's in the quarterfinals in a minute and four. He wins in a submission. So, uh, yeah, originally I actually wanted to stream World Combat Championship, but um, the audio in World Combat Championship is all goofed up. So. Uh, Neo Solar Temple. I am from Connecticut. My accent's all fucked up. I don't want to tell you guys. <laughs> it's what it is. See, get a little drunk and you'll sound a bit more Irish. Mm, no, no, I won't. Oh, you just I'll get violent. hard. Like, I, I, uh, well, I get angry, yeah, but also... Uh, she, she is a violent woman when she gets drunk. And I should never have taught her no. to box. Or <laughs> no, I don't get violent. To... I get really fucking rude. I should never have taught you how to do a rear naked. That's true. I, I taught uh, her how to do a rear naked joke, and she went to her work Christmas party. And, and I did it on this, this girl who was like, like 19. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly part of the Soprano family crew. Clearly. All right, that's just a house coat this guy is wearing. That's like Basically, a, a, a bathrobe. It's a hotel bathrobe. <laughs> It's kind of the same thing, but, you know, like, my brother does not have this accent. He does not have my accent at all. Like, I don't get it. He doesn't. No, he doesn't sound no. like me. Hey, Odo Glass. How's it going, man? I hope you're keeping well, buddy. Why is he coming back out? I am, I, this is later. This is, like, uh, flash forward three weeks uh, later. Uh, 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 uh. Or, you know, a few hours. I think uh, they probably had to fight a few times oh. per night for this. Um, Spectre, I've choked someone out on a drunken feud, in a sober feud, without the feud, on a Tuesday, <laughs> just for no just reason. For fun at this point. The cats, me yeah. and Biscuit, holy shit. Um, Jacques. Okay, Jacques has tasked me with doing my best Vanderlei Silver impression. Okay. I want to fuck, fight, choke. There you go. Okay, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Where's his ma? Who's ma? This guy's ma. Oh, this guy's ma. Mario Lopez. Didn't come with yeah. him. She's out back drinking. Oscar, I probably have more of a Brooklyn accent than you do. All right, let's get this battle away with the official ring announcer, Charlie Anzalone. AJ, me and your girl would get on like a house on fire yeah. or set a house on fire. I don't know which. We gotta hook those two up. Man. He's a Greco-Roman wrestler and freestyle fighter 
Andrew Hunt had no, I didn't hear about Vanderlei asking for money on Instagram to pay off a gambling debt. That is quite sad. I've actually death rolled Biscuit. Like, I've gone on the floor and gone into a fucking death roll with that asshole. I do not fuck with him. That cat does not fuck around. Oh, this guy looks quite happy to be, uh... Well, he's know, like 60 no and it's gonna fight. be his last fight, so... Clearly. <laughs> We are about to die. Salute you. You're doing Marissa Tomei yeah, for my yeah, cousin's Yeah, yeah. Just I'm, I'm giving Marissa Tomei. And my I'm biological doing. clock is going. Nah, 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 nah. It's ticking like this. That's it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and did I watch any of the new Power Slap event? Absolutely not. Once was enough. I watched the entire fucking season one and that was more power slap than any one human being ever needs to consume. You know what, if you guys are real good, maybe I'll memorize the the uh, spiel, Marissa Tomei spiel from the courtroom scene for my cousin Vinny and do it for you sometime. If you're good. Oh, double knockdown. Oh, kick in the face. That was nice. This guy is giving He's still me, smiling. Yeah, he, he's giving me big uh, Jared Gordo vibes, I think. There's some impressive use of the head there again. So Richard Hurd trying to work something on David Hood. Hood trying to counter whatever Red's going to come back with. Red starting to wave away at his back, trying to to look for an opening uh, to where he can get a shot in with his fist, trying to soften up his opponent. And, and uh, I think the guy with the hair actually landed that kick. It, it looked like his head kind of moved a little bit when the, the foot to landed. To get a submission or to, to get a knockout, the two youths. In question. The two youths. Uh, Fred P. Yeah, no, there's always a delay with the uh, the audio and the video a little bit, man. Just kind of got to get used to it. It's uh, just down to latency, streaming latency. Oh, the stream is wholesome. Give it time. Yeah, give it time. <laughs> I haven't even started drinking yet. Daddy blown apart. I don't call him that. No, Nobody bring it up. No, I don't no, call no. him that, so don't even. <laughs> yeah, Steve Austin's dad. I can see it. And once a guy I thought was Stone Cold Steve Austin. Anybody watch uh, The Good Place? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, this guy's just stinking up this whole fucking tournament with his shitty mid-90s jiu-jitsu. Lay and pray bullshit. that goes along with it. Richard Hurd trying to, to find some way to, to get in bed. Bud Light, he will disown you, Oscar. Bud Light, lie. To, uh, get this match over with, and his both fighters trying to work their way. It's uh, two minutes, 30 I don't drink, and he... <laughs> Poppy blown apart. No, it's Poppy <laughs> Pascal or nothing. And he only drinks basically... Well, not only, but you for well, Belgian beer. Yeah, yeah. You guys know. He left. Both these fighters looking for the advantage. Now some striking. Uh, Red trying to find some kind of opening. David trying to find an opening. Red throwing some some fist in there. David's trying to get him up against the rings. Now Red using the ring ropes. Both of these fighters uh, trying this to find This is no hold barred. Kind of you should be just headbutting that. Right here, trying to drag Red back in. Red's trying to get himself out. I would keep. Uh, I'd be dragging uh, Red gonna get a ring out. In. Soul caliber oh. style. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I want to see him just slide slowly right into the, the photographers. And like this event started off so excitingly with the uh, 300 pound cape man just fucking body checking that guy through the ropes. Nighthawk hawk, malt liquor. Mm. Nighthawk malt liquor. And then you gotta put it in a paper bag. Otherwise it doesn't count. I'm less of a Modelo man and more of a Corn Nuts man. Oh, there we go. Ring out. Yeah. Oh, See? they didn't even attempt to catch them. <laughs> it's just like, Why would you? Fuck you guys. You're going head first under that canvas. You converted someone. Look. Hey, dubious equivocal. I hope you like left, man. It is still the, the absolute god tier beer. Red uh, now sizing him up. David sizing him up. Both fighters trying to go with the striking, the boxing type. God position. damn, dude, that's a lot of like 18 packs of uh, Bud Light. You talking about, AJ? Again, 
Still too many. Yeah. Still too many. I mean, you can get pissed for free. Just <laughs> do it in the toilet. <laughs> Whoa, stop. Stop it. Stop it. All right, come on, barbed wire man. You got this. No, you don't got this. You're back in full guard. I like Corona with lime. I don't drink, but I Come do. On, like, I mean, of the, the casual beers? Uh, yeah, Corona's not the Oh, worst. the casual beers? Hey, meaty pate. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. And you are correct. Lef is elite. Oh, my God. Wait. Wait. What the hell happened? Barbed wire man just tapped out the jujitsu gun? Did he kick him in the face? With a heel hook by the looks of it? That or in layman's turns, he kicked him in the face, didn't he? No. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> Bit of a difference between a heel hook and a kick in the face. I just hope there was like a sound of breaking well, glass. At least that, that guy's mom team. is there to give him a hug. She didn't come out with him. She's well, oh, she's very disappointed then. Yeah. Oh, damn. He got busted. Well, gross. Well, I guess this was the mid '90s when heel hooks were still like you know. But is this the upon. '90s or the 2000s? No, this is the '90s. Like '96, uh, I think. Yeah. Oh damn! And back in those days, jujitsu guys didn't train heel hooks because it was seen as a dirty move. Certainly worked him over pretty well. David Hood may have been the loser in this fight, but uh, certainly he dealt out Oh my Ooh. god, get that man some ice! <laughs> get him some Modelo, quick. Oh, thank you, Connor, much. I appreciate that, man. Um, a month in review would be tough going. Uh, he doesn't have that much time on his yeah, hands. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It takes me like six weeks, seven weeks sometimes just to make a standard video. There's also only any, so many costumes we can wrestle yeah, Biscuit in before yeah. he kills us. He's getting real pissed <laughs> off. We were looking at costumes for him today as well. Uh, you know, a little t shirt for him. And uh, he, I could already tell he was annoyed with that. Michael Petorik in the semifinals could not go because of a broken hand that he suffered in his quarterfinal match. So Fred his face was a balloon. You'd want to see it. You will face, uh, a balloon. Balloon. That's what Connor says. And you. My foot was a balloon. You'd want to see it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we got a super, super fight. fight. Anticipated return to the ring of the Brazilian champion. Hey, vigils. That was my jaw. My jaw cracks. Sorry. Oh, yeah. It is what it is. Deal with it. Mine also cracked for a long time. Um, until one day it cracked so badly it kind of just popped itself back into place and never cracked enough. Mmm, I'm special. My body fixes itself. <sighs> Fucking Wolverine over here. <laughs> You and I both fucking <laughs> wish. Hey, oh, it's Skeeto. We got Biscuit. You better be in one piece. Come on. You got something to say? Biscuit, your fans are waiting for you. Say something. Oh, we got a blue gi. Oh, this looks like a like a taekwondo gi or something. Oh, it's Steve Jenham. Oh. The guy who almost got front kicked into oblivion by Harold Howard. If only oh, we lived okay, in that Skeeto. timeline. Tai Jitsu. That's a new one on me, man. I've never heard of Tai Jitsu before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Biscuit has also never heard of Tai Jitsu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this guy looks animated as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Lane Litton. It's actually Steve Jenner. I think they need... <laughs> what is this unknown shit for uh, <laughs> who is his age? Just a whole load of question marks? That's none of your business. <laughs> you don't ask a lady what age she is. Biscuit, somebody said hi. 
Ooh, big pearl. Don't scratch his fucking Do not scratch that one. Biscuit behave. That's what you want? You don't want this. You don't like behave. Oh, he's sponsored by Panther Productions. That's some old school shit. They used to do all those instructional videos and magazines. You know, the kind of stuff where you could like mail order for ninja costumes and stuff. Our first competitor fighting to my right in the red corner. He was the winner of UFC Ultimate Fighting. Lane Litton, tell your cat Biscuit says hello. He is 31 years old, weighing in at 200 pounds. I guess Marco was just sensitive about his age, man. Oh, and this dude's, uh, Jenim's gonna fight in his gig. Nice. Oh, you know who that guy reminds me of? Who? Bloated, inconceivable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, go sit on him. Go sit on him and keep your mouth shut. Or don't. Hey, audio, so far as it goes, man. That's a, it's a pretty, pretty trash looking gi, I've got to say. It looks like it would whip uh, pretty easily. Um, snow, snowboard. Do uh, you want to take that one, honey? Huh? you want to tell him what the, uh, the book the ninjutsu guy wrote, The Sex Adventures? Who the guy is, or the name of the book? The book. The amorous adventures of the sheet of can. Yeah, well, I can already see which way this part's going. Looks like Marco trying to wail away with the fist, trying to soften up Steve. I mean, back in these days, the guy who turned up in the gi was pretty much guaranteed to be the loser. Rocco, he didn't have to read the Matt Hughes book. I read the Matt Hughes book and took notes on it. <laughs> she did. I read, like, the first 50 pages and then was like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Can you please finish this trash heap for me? Ben C, that is fucking ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, it just kind of tells you all you need to know about modern day UFC. Oh, we got an Americana coming up. Nope. He let go. On the ground, get into the submission, work your fighter over, work on their weak points, and right now that's exactly what he's doing. This uh, Steve Jellum is already uh, up, uh, David and Vapid. Now that that's not a Kimura, that was uh, an Americana. Kimura would have been with the armor on the back instead of that. Up by the head. Oscar, I don't love him after reading the Hughes book. <laughs> Jake, thank, thank you, you for that. And are you prepared to fight Valentina? No, she can have him. Oh. She would kick my ass. She can fucking have you. I like my face. <laughs> oh, we got to tap out due to brutality. Oh, damn. That's bad. Marco trying to show off a little bit to the crowd. He knows that uh, it's been a while since he got in the ring. It didn't last very long, but then sometimes it doesn't need to. For our official results, let's go to our ring announcer, Charlie Antolone, who has the time of the fight. And, of course, our winner, Marco. I mean, it was labeled as the super fight, and I would argue it lived up to that label. Andrew Hunt, yeah, I don't think a black belt in Ninjutsu has ever helped anyone accomplish anything. I'm so sick of ninjas and ninjutsu. I've been reading so much about fucking ninjas because of Frank Dukes. I'm straight up just seeing ninjas every time I close my eyes. I'm dreaming about ninjas. Thank you, Spectre. Spectre, thank you, man. You are the dude. Any thoughts about 
about uh, these two guys and their styles. John, about uh, the style of Fred Boyd versus the style of... Damn, we're on to the finals already. I thought you said this was two hours. It is. Is it an hour's worth of uh, finals? Maybe. An hour's worth of... I don't know. He's going to use the He has done so very good there. Very well. And, uh, of course, the Budapans... I'm going to get a beer. I'll be back in two seconds. I will spike it. Try to keep it up, but then again... No, I'm okay. Thank you. Sorry. That was a delayed reaction answer. I think Fred Floyd is going to take him right to red. I think he knows he's uh, wounded and he's going to go for the kill right away. Fred Floyd, he's a big guy. Six foot four. I'm here at the finals. Now it's Mangler time. He has a night. Wait, wait, wait. Bart, Ashita Kim has a 1999 website? Yes, is that where you got the, the book? Oh, Cape, he's, he's back. The big boy's back. Oh, Panther Productions, big boy. Oh, damn, that is a fabulous Cape. He looks like he is going to a witch's coven with that. And where I got the Ashita Kin book. Um, I had to buy that, yeah, from his website. But it... You were basically emailing him, yeah, yes? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's Ashita Kim. Like, he runs the whole fucking thing. And he uh, emailed me back, and he was like, "Oh well, I would ship the book to you, but you know, due to COVID, you might, you know, get sick because I could have COVID on the book or whatever." And uh, it was basically just a. It's plot. not COVID that I was worried about being on the book. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, it was him trying to get me to say, "Okay, just send me the PDF." And he uh, would still charge you the full price for a fucking downloadable PDF. And the full price was 50 fucking dollars. Um, so, yeah, so Ishida came was like, okay, I'll send you the PDF. It's the ultimate way to read the Amorous Adventures because all the pictures are in color. Caleb Grady, thank you, man. But, uh, yeah, it was not worth... I don't think $50 was a worthwhile uh, choice for the, the pictures in that book. Because they were all just fucking Google images. Of uh, 80s women in lingerie. Yeah, it was it was some bad stuff. AJ, tell Sarah uh, the two of us said hello. The print version is Spiral Band. I bet he did it at like his local fucking Kinkos. Are you trying to think of yeah, something? Yeah, Because <laughs> we don't have shit like that over here. So. Oh, <laughs> he's, that is a beautiful demonstration. He of better kung win. Fu. Yeah, after that kung fu shit, he, this guy has to win. <laughs> If I still had hair, that would have just blown it right back off my head. How are you going to let that man get punched in the face again? Look at his face. Wait, was it like that when he first came out? Yeah. No, like, because I mean, like, is that just what he looks like? Uh, I don't know. I, it looks like he got stung by a fuckload of bees, and also, like, they drew on his eyebrows. Did they draw his eyebrows on with Sharpies? <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like. He looks like all of that if it happened to the dude from the Goonies. Same sloth got stung in the face and had eyebrows drawn on. Well, That's hopefully. not a real person. He was a dude in makeup. Who put this guy in? <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's... Uh, well, he's got a headlock, but I mean, the dude, if it hadn't been invented at the time, but uh, if he got out of that, he could have gotten a uh, Von Flew choke. Uh, Mel MK, 
Um, I take it you're yeah from the dog zone. Um, thank you for uh, again. I said it on. I don't know if they actually played it on the the podcast because we were doing like a an after uh, podcast kind of special thing. But I just said you know tell everybody from you know one hundred hot dog that I appreciate each and every one of you for asking for me to be on that podcast because I'm a, a huge uh, baby and Brockway fan. John Fogarty, Frank Duke stole your da from Electric Picnic in 2009. Did he ever come back or is he still gone? Oh, that's gross. Oh, somebody tap out? Or are they just like, checking his cuts? That's right. That's a good thing that the, the safety issue. Of course, Red's trying to say, yeah, let me fight, let me fight. The Although it will be up to uh, the referee and the doctor's decision. It looks like uh, they're going to continue on. It looks like uh, that is the true spirit of just bleeding right there. Guys, uh, fight. Of course, uh, Red saying, yeah, I want to go. I want to go. Just a little blood. Don't worry this is uh, what gets yeah, Jeff Monson out of bed in the morning. You want, uh, you want Red to be careful here now. Big Fred got no blood of his out there. It's, uh, it's all Big Red, so uh, see what happens. Actually, Fred locked out because uh, Red had him mounted. God damn. That is a face. Just over a minute and a half, and now Red and Fred both uh, tangled back up pretty much in the same position they were before. Red on top trying to get some kind of a submission type hold on the bigger red oh, boy. I see some. Oh my what? god! <laughs> he god Jesus. damn! That was a fucking bull rush. The time, one minute, 47 seconds. He is $20,000 richer than I think he just played himself. And he taps. Thank Damn. you, Stacy. Stacy, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And after the big dude's uh, amazing kung fu display and everything. What? Okay. Okay. Uh, so that is not two hours long. <laughs> Let me just check this. Fucking video I did. Okay. No. No, it's not okay. All right, hold on, hold on. Now he's going to have to scramble and find something else. So you might get to hear a bunch of swearing. This guy's more technical. We are here. He's just clicking yeah, we're here. I'm stuff. just I'm just trying to find a different video to to stream. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Oh, is Hometown Buffet still a thing? That place is so fucking gross. Okay, um, I have found um, World Combat Championship. Uh, we can watch that. I'm going to have to skip the opening maybe 20 minutes or so because the audio is really fucked up in this and it sounds terrible. So, um, sadly, we will not get to watch Henzo Gracie stepping on someone's neck. You pronounce that like an H? Yeah. How much is reputation affecting Ben Spikers? 
Well, I tell you, reputation always helps if you've got the talent to back it up, which clearly Hinzo does. But I don't think Vince Biker's intimidated one iota. He's a great judo player, and he wants this match. He wanted Hinzo in the first round. He wanted him. He wanted to make sure he got, he got to fight him. Tail of the tape does not re reveal anything of significance as you look at the height, weight, and... Spectre, he's trying to figure it out. The, this thing is, he's at the screen. The art of Sabat is quite a kick. Let's take the opportunity to look at James Waring. Okay. So we can take World Combat Championship from here. Um, because we've skipped all the parts with these awful uh, audio issues. At 37, this six foot three inch, 218 pound martial artist holds four championship titles in full contact karate and a kid named Tony. Thank you, man. Okay, so World Combat Championship is way more badass. It's got like all these cool uh, intros like this, way more graphics of breaking glass and stuff. It's like it's pretty badass. Thank you, Odo. Um, Odo Glass, thank you, man. Oh, Odo Glass. I did watch that video, man. That was absolutely fucking amazing. Before that fight ever happened, I had a dream, and in the dream I had, a man figure came out, and he had me the world. 1991. Well, this was a 95. But I never take credit of that fight. I give that fight to God. Today, he owns. Make us feel better. There's some of you on here that were not born then. Kickboxing and fitness center in Miami. He takes great pride in his students. Uh, um, it's a pretty bow oddball. Um, yeah, it's a pity I didn't get to play the Hanzo Gracie fight because there's a, you know, another fantastic display of wonderful Gracie sportsmanship at the end when he uh, steps on the guy's neck as he's walking away. Father and husband who places great emphasis on the importance of family. This commitment to community values has earned James letters of commendation from the city of Miami. Neo Solar, yeah, yeah, I, I can, I can get it, man. There's a underprivileged youth <laughs> as a 90s kid you can definitely relate to this thing. in preparing for the WCC James says he's simply honing the boxing skills he's always possessed but now I walk in the ring he's all over I'm there now I want the glory I love the glory and I'm an athlete. I'm, I, anything I do in my life, I want to be the best. The question is, can a guy this nice find the fury to triumph in the WCC? What a tremendous athlete, not just in football, but then he went into regular boxing, did some kickboxing, and now he is a part of the World Combat Championships. <coughs> that's, a, that's a beautiful all yellow outfit he has. I mean, he had a, he had a style and he rocked it. IBF World and those shorts. Back in 1991. God damn. Some tight shorts. Those are, now like, I mean, a to take a look at his he might be in Jerome danger with shorts that tight. Like, I, mean, I don't think that guy's ever having kids. Lee Baby, have I ever watched the full Steven Seagull movie start to finish? Um... Yeah, Under Siege, in like, 95. What's the one where he pretends to be Mexican? Uh, it's, it's like a bit part though, right? Was he not in Machete, maybe? Was it? That? Was it that? Ooh, we in France now. Ooh, Savat. He has 58 professional victories to his credit, 35 So technically, when I, when I was doing that little bit of kickboxing last year, it was Savat style, so I will not hear any of the smirching of Savat. But his hands are considered his deadliest weapons. He's known for the power of his left jab and right cross combination. Durkan likes to think of himself as a fighter's fighter. He says his heart and courage are his greatest attributes. He vows never to give up, claiming his opponent will have to knock him out to win. But his friends and family say there's a sweet side to Jerome. They say he's a nice guy, really, a very nice guy. Gentle, warm, good sense of humor. His wife Angie's quick to point out Jerome's sensitivity and patience. To hear them tell it, Jerome Turcan wouldn't hurt a fly. He, he's not actually Still, Mexican, Steven Seagal. Right? He was definitely pretending. I mean, I don't know a lot about the guy. <laughs> he's definitely not Mexican. I'm pretty sure Steven Seagal is not Mexican. <laughs> I mean, I, I, he's... Mexico famous for its Seagal population? Does that not even his last name? 
No question about it. Of course, with James Waring, who, who's uh, a, a, an ex-world boxer, ex-world boxing cruiserweight champion, he's a dangerous puncher. There's no question about it. And Jerome Turkan is a devastating kicker who also. I do love good, that they label puncher. it as what their best the weapon match is. To be the leg kicks from Jerome Turkan. That's what I would expect. Ray, one of the things that stands out here, the cruiserweight championship for Waring. Is that is that going to mean anything oh, tonight? Oh yes, James knows how to throw good punches, straight punches, and hard punches. And Sean Alexander. Um, but I'm you, I, I think. I don't know what. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're going to do James once the goal does. My career might be over, but yeah. the world will be a richer That's place cool. for uh, his him, life. I think. Well, of course, unless you're George Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> Here we get a chance if Segal is training the Soviet troops, then young, they should really be concerned <laughs> about their future in this world. Next month, both 6'3 and about a 20-pound weight advantage for wearing, but I really don't see that Segal as a big issue. Segal will have them all doing right, fucking Aikido. Two minutes on the floor, 22-minute match, there is no grappling. There is no submission. You understand? Do you understand? Damn, right, James Waring was 37? Tom, I have to wonder, you know, at, I mean, the top of the show, at what age did he buy those shorts? Still feel that way. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This guy kicks as well as with his feet as well as he throws punches with his hands. He's very quick Let's and he really wants to make a name for himself in this tournament. Dude, that pit bull was Mr. Worldwide, Jeffrey. Is he? Is this the same type of pit bull? Possibly. Dale, you know, that pit bull. Um, I don't think that's Carl Weathers. I think it's Carl Weathers' cousin. I am just shocked at how he's getting anything to do with those on. <laughs> I mean, that, even just lifting your leg, you're in danger of like extreme rippage. If you get time, Jerome Turkan coming in to drop a right hand on him, that will be to his benefit. You saw right there, Turkan showed the quickness of his feet. The World Combat Championship was good because, well, it was interesting at least because they tried to uh, do away with boring ground fighting and that they matched their wrestlers with their wrestlers and the strikers with the strikers. But ultimately, at the end of the day, Contest, you still have uh, wrestlers uh, being strikers. We've seen an experience uh, of uh, uh, James Hip warning that he didn't know what to do with him when he got behind him. Exactly. One of the things that Turkan has done early on is kick the legs of Waring. And initially, you're thinking to yourself, Tom, big deal. Why do you kick the legs? But that can sap your energy over the long haul. Absolutely. And you keep worrying that you wear down those legs. And, and those kicks, if they're. Why is he wearing James Hip shorts? I don't know. Man. You'd have to ask him. You look at that ass. Dude, that's a fucking ass. You know, when, you, when your wheels hurt, you can't move around as quickly. See, Turkan said that his uh, strategy would be to beat on the legs of James Waring until he felt he had him where he was immobilized, and then he would go to his hands. That was his strategy. We'll see how well he executes it. Those are the, the shorts that Steven Seagal would strut again. That was the you skirt. You can look at her butt. That was the yeah. skirt he was envisioning in his mind when he wrote that song. Turkan is doing the right thing. James wearing his legs. He's 38 years old. Those are 38 year old legs. That will be doing this event. As I said, it's a young man's sport. Tom, are you anticipating the fact that this could be out here on a Saturday, double cheeked up? I actually, yeah, that's a good one, Jam Master Day. I gotta remix this dude's uh, shorts into the, the Homer Simpson thing. No longer will we have Don Fry's ass in that segment. Now it's time for uh, Purple Schwartz. Oh! Oh! It's the power of the shorts! Damn! The power of the shorts compels you to get fucking stomped. And thank you, David County. I'm glad you enjoyed the Connor video. Better if you knocked him out with a booty clap. <laughs> <laughs> just, just 
slap those cheeks right on the discipline he's involved in he goes right in for the kill now right there you can see the turkan tapped out see some people didn't see it but finally there he sees the punch i don't think it was a love tap david that was a punch right to the back of the fucking head and then a stomp to the face while on the ground take care fancy mortimer Messes up your equilibrium, and, and that was a brutal shot there. And where he caught him with a good kick going down, which helps set up. You guys can hear us, right? Punch it straight into the face. Jerome Turkan tapped out. Discombobulate, huh? Right? Can you guys hear us? Yeah, Somebody say yes. Somebody said we're not making any commentary. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, the winner. Of our last quarter final in the strikers uh, the hold on you might want to type something what you do Waring. that's picking us up all right let's take I a think. look at, let's take a look at the updates now in this semi okay somebody said yes hello yeah huh yeah. yes okay. Yeah, okay. okay all right all right thank you thank you thank you sorry with the delay and whatnot it's kind of hard to tell sometimes um, 180 pounds versus 260 pounds but everybody is cognizant of the fact that the large people have not been a problem for the Gracies and as you pointed out very interesting in the next match Ray Paulson versus wearing I wonder if a lot has been taken out of Paulson with his back the dude in the camo pants and boots looked like a razor Ramon snuck into the fucking ring there for a minute the difference is gonna be James Warren did not know what to do when he went to the mat Paulson is a, is a terrific fighter on the mat. That will be the difference. Okay, let's go back to... Oh, and actually, yeah, this uh, has Bart Vail in it, another famous uh, martial arts fraud. Bart Vail's manager, and uh, Max, we understand there's some stitches being applied to Bart Vail. Can you give us an update? Yes, he's got a severe last... Well, technically, he won by submission because the guy's uh, brain submitted to uh, unconsciousness. ...by the doctors not to allow him to continue due to the nature of the injury up above on top of the head. So that's official at Canada, Phil. Right? Yeah, um, I know there's a, a bit of a delay with the audio. Um, I, it just seems to be the way it is whenever I do streams. I don't know if it's just my internet or what, but uh, it seems to be a bit of latency. Uh, maybe I need a better computer or the internet or something, but there's always a few second delay. So sorry, apologies for that, guys. That hair. That is a be that which feathered. Which one? Which one? The Left or right? microphone guy. <laughs> And to the outfit, the suit. To concern in this brand of fighting, and that is the injuries and the medical attention given to these athletes. The competitors who step into the World Combat Championship ring will face three. He is a little MacGyver-esque. First, acute superficial trauma and. Oh, is that Dan Severn on commentary? Forms of injury. This includes surface cuts to the head and hands as a result of the powerful striking blows athletes will deliver and absorb. Contusions and hematomas. Oscar Rowe has it. It's okay. Uh, I don't think uh, MMA guru would probably uh, appreciate my stuff anyway. In the event of severe cuts or disabling soft tissue injury, even the best fighters can have their bout. Oh, this is when they bring the doctor on to explain, uh, you know, just how dangerous uh, no holds barred fighting can be. This is common in the nose, ribs, and knees. Fractures to arms, legs, or joints can occur if martial artists do not submit quickly when they're placed in one of numerous joint locks. Samoan bone crushing is aptly named and poses a particular threat to the opponents of this discipline. The doctor has a and lot of makeup on. Yeah, yeah. Are internal ones. I mean, it's working for him though, so you know, can't blame him. The forces these martial artists will generate with their hand strikes and leg kicks can cause internal organs to hemorrhage or rupture. As a result, there is a lot of padding in World Combat Championship between the. Did learn jeans? Yes, he is. Okay. <laughs> The martial artists who compete in this event are serious I mean, between the fighter introductions and the, the doctor spending 20 minutes telling you how fighting is dangerous, they, they were really trying to fill that wrong time. of trained professionals, very serious injuries can result. I'm Dr. Leo Gordon for the World Combat Championship. Phil Benedict is going to get the opportunity. The youngster from California at five foot six, two hundred pounds is going to be going against. Wait, Don Fry is becoming TikTok famous? He's not in my algorithm, so. That might present a little bit of a problem for Gracie. Personally, I don't expect it to be because Gracie is unbelievable. Thank you, slight tendencies. Unbelievable technique, and I think that 
That's a beautiful mustache. It's a mustache. What was going on with suits in the 90s? Nobody could find a shirt that actually fit them. The suits didn't fit either, though. Yeah, yeah. Everything was too damn big. Boxy. Big and boxy. Yeah. Yet have not been informed of this, of the fact that Vale is not going to compete. Now, let's take a look at one of the preliminary fights of the evening. Our preliminary bout this evening matches Jerry Bell against Phil Benedict. Jerry Bell's uh, MDK. I thought that was Dan Severn. That's got to be Dan Severn on commentary, right? The five foot six inch Phil Benedict prefers freestyle wrestling. Spectre, I read that in. Oh my god, yeah, look at his neck. Sweet yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he's, no, make it stop, make it stop. I want he's one of those people who look like a thumb. A thumb. Yeah. And the boxing guy's neck seems kind of curved They're or something. They're both fucked like, up, and the top of his head looks like it's going to explode. <laughs> I'm being horrible, I'm being mean, I'm being mean. No, make all of that stop, both of them. I don't know, Squid Triangle. I think I've seen better looking Dark Souls create a character than these dudes. Oh, look at those shorts, man. That is fucking beautiful. He looks like um, if uh, Ivan Drago was from America. Can we go back to watching fights with people that I would like to have sex with? No, no, we cannot. Now let's take a look at his opponent. Maybe some man was just having a bad day when they took that photo and he'll actually be really handsome when he comes out. No, he won't. His five foot six inch, 200 pound frame was built by Jack and Steel. But he's got the shorts though. I mean, look at the shorts. Individual NCAA national championship records during his competitive career tonight. See, he's he's relatively normal looking. I'm good. I'm good. He's vaguely human shaped. He does look like Earthworm Jim, and yeah, that's not really my type. No, thank you. Well, he looks less like a thumb. Le here, yeah, so. less, yeah. but not by by much. Like, they did him dirty with that fucking photograph. Man. pressed over 450 pounds and Bob Wall I have to ask you is that something that's a hindrance or a help in this particular competition <laughs> I mean that's a neck that you could not rear naked choke so he's got that going for him you mean me personally or him <laughs> it's both both he's safe around you is what I'm saying it becomes Phil Benedict's world well, one of the things that occurs here in the tail of the tape as you take a look at it... Oh, no, dude, no! But obviously, Phil Benedict... He's way too intense. ...getting him to the mat. And once he gets to the mat, my guess is, Bob and Tom, that is certainly going to be an advantage for Phil Benedict. And that guy, I mean, he just looks like a fucking cop. He's going to try and keep like, he's going to pull you over and ask you do, you, do you know why I pulled you over today? Yeah, Stacey, the ring girls are not faring much better. <laughs> <laughs> it was the 90s. I mean, come on. Back to the corner. Stepping in with us now, former lightweight world champion boxer Ray Mancini. And Ray, once again, like the first match. I mean, I lived through the 90s, and I thought we had good fashions. We and, didn't. And good hairstyles, and we all looked kind of cool, but... You know, in, damn, in retro We were fucking up in that decade. I tell you what, we were talking about the strength of Benedict earlier. He was on his back behind, and he completely... Through Bell over now, Bell's starting to recover. That's a nice job. It's the same thing, Todd. You know, once these guys, these and now he's these strikers in close, it's, it's the end of the ball game because if they can get in under his reach, Bell obviously has a much longer reach. And that guy's just gonna crush him with his fucking neck. He's got him in tight, and he's fight, and he tapped out. He tapped out. He tapped out. Wow. He tapped out. Is he Use your American flag pants to save you. How come no one has good footwork? Again, the 90s. 
Oh, he tapped. Yep, yep. So that comes. I mean, his opponent is a human neck that uh, seems to consist solely on a diet of steroids. So, I mean, I mean, look how hyped up that dude is. I think realistically, no matter what we look back on, none of it will look good. Fashion, hair, whatever. <coughs> none of it will look good. I think this decade is going to age worse than most of them. Because it's just a rehash of the 90s? Oh, but you know, it's, yeah, yeah. That and just, you know, everything's terrible. Right there, there's the tap out right, right there. Right there it there. is, there it is. There's, there's the tap out right there. Jerry Bell did indeed tap out in a very short match, actually less than a minute. And you can see right there the... I mean, I'm noticing a trend here between people who wear gis and people who wear American flag shorts. You know, the whole Rex Kwando kind of vibe. Yeah. They generally don't win. Benedict looked like he'd lost, and that's the way we reacted. Wow. Well, let's go up to the ring announcer, John Higginson, for the decision. <laughs> Watch him toss him off from the bottom. That's, yeah, that's a sentence. Preliminary fight by tap out in 36 seconds. <laughs> Phil Iron Will Benedict. I mean, he does look better than the photograph. Yeah, he looks a lot better than the yeah. photograph. But you can, you can actually make out a chin also, there. But he's also, he's like... Oh, meat. What is going on there? I don't understand. It's called steroids. Honey. He's like a rectangle. A rectangle of steroids. No, and this is Hanzo Gracie. Infamous uh, neck stepper. Lion Tamer, um, yeah, we all remember Harold Howard. You missed, uh, or maybe you missed uh, Steve Jenham in the, the last show. The guy who almost got sent to the Shadow Realm by uh, Harold Howard's uh, flying front kick. Just, just going right back into another fight because we haven't, you know. <laughs> the Royd Tom. All right, so who, who we got in this one? Enzo or Royd Tom? He really does look like he's wearing his PJs. Yeah. Ooh, he's not going to touch gloves neither. Hanzo looks like a fucking child in this. I mean, I know obviously this was quite some time ago, but. They found him out back by the dumpsters and brought him in. That's where they found this ref Bart. <laughs> He's got a scary face on his butt. <laughs> it's terrifying. It's to get people to stop looking at your butt. Oh, is that yeah, it's like, Don't stare at my butt because it's looking at me. There's not much going on there. Quantum Tangle, and um, yeah, we would do something like that maybe if we, uh, you know, it wouldn't get copyright killed. We'll, we'll find some uh, stupid movies to stream and figure out how to actually listen to them at the same time as streaming. Just now you figured it out, almost yeah. two hours later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there we go. If you want to actually listen to it, we can, okay. Uh, what do you mean you figured it out? <sighs> I'm, I'm stupid, don't worry. I am shocked at Roy Tom's performance here, to be honest. I, but wouldn't he be exhausted? I mean, not that that fight, you know, well, was long. They've, they've all fought twice oh, uh, by oh, this oh, point. Oh, oh. So everybody's pretty exhausted. 
Hanzo had a, I thought it was like a 10 minute match before this against a judo guy. Okay, well, I'm glad Henzo was a little more, uh, a little more sportsmanlike in this one, helping his opponent up instead of just immediately stepping on his throat. Um, yeah, those sh shorts are where uh, Gaethje got his angry eyeball tattoo. Not really, though. It was a, it's, it's a brand, you know, bad, bad boy or whatever it is. Yep, yeah, this is what uh, Chong's Fury, this was 95. Okay, let's go up to John Higginson. T.L. Bay. Um, it's actually it's less of an angry butt and it was an angry roid thumb. Cats and dogs are better. Yeah, Bad Boy was like... It was like the, uh, I don't know, the venom of its day. Everybody wanted those cool uh, grimacing eyeballs on their ass. This time he finishes his issue, and I gotta ask you this. I asked you about the 400 pound bench press. Didn't help there. Didn't help there at all. It's technique, and it's, it's the desire. Lee, of baby, see you later, man. Tradition and the ability to do things once he gets in the mat to recover. To use his Squid weight, triangle. What the hell was Crone doing in that fight, man? He's used his legs. He's a small guy, 180 pounds. But boy, does he use his weight well. Todd, what are you gonna call in this match here? Are we coming up with... Uh... Crone just looked like he did not want to be there, even remotely. Samoan bone crushing is the best base for MMA, clearly. Oh, Eric Paulson, he has the fabulous oh, hair. Oh, no. And James Waring looks like, ugh. He looks like he just sent you a dick pic or something in that photo. Hey, Sludge for the Sludge God. That's an awesome name, by the way. And thank you thank for you. the 666. Um, <laughs> the beautiful uh, shell suit, beautiful ponytail. He is Shawn Michaels. Uh, uh, oh, and he's wearing brother. rosary beads as well. Yes. Yeah. But, but. Oh, uh, wait, shorts is back. Yeah, yeah. Are but. they still purple? Are they still. Yes, they are. I think they got shorter. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's, it's a chair squeaky. The shorter his shorts get, the more power he. Ah, uh, it's like a battery. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, Ponytail Guy was in a fight earlier, and I. Obviously, I couldn't show it because of the bad audio. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <coughs> I get overexcited. He looks like the dude from Rocky Horror. <laughs> if you couldn't make that out, uh, my wife choked on her own spit because she was dying to tell you that uh, Eric Paulson looks like the guy from Rocky Horror. <laughs> But Eric Paulson is one of those guys who looks like he's about to get his ass kicked in every fight because of the ponytail, but actually turns out to be kind of a badass. Odo, see you in a bit. Man. <laughs> Thank you, he does! <laughs> Especially the thumbnail! Riff Rap! Yes! Riff Rap! Yes. <laughs> Time is fleeting. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. I, 
<laughs> How is it? I think I can see uh, Purple Short's balls from like <laughs> his from the back view of him. <laughs> I'm back. I'm fine. I'm not dying. I was close. <laughs> Um, I don't know, was Eric Paulson Josh Barnett's coach? I couldn't tell you. Bitch, Christ, my eyes are watering. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? We're not actually smoking weed because we don't do that. I mean, not anymore. <coughs> you know, we were cool once. Oh, and look at these egregious fence grabs. While well, he gets kneed several times in the ball. No, I did not put uh, my wife in a rear naked. I don't think I was the one that snorted. Uh, no. I think that was you. It been Normally me. it's me, me, but I think that was you. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I went into this fight fully expecting Paulson to get his shit wrecked because, you know, he's got a John Fan background and has a ponytail. I, I kind of thought he was going to try and throw a fireball or something at some point, but uh, yeah, he's, he's actually quite good. That's right, that's right. Again, I still think uh, the referee looks like he should be on a golf course. Get him on the ground and do some with the, those pants and that shirt. Like, he looks like the, the ball boy. You know, the guy that finds the straight balls or something. out of gas, and then out of nowhere, he, he went after McCauley. Do you see the same pattern here? Great second win. I, but I'll tell you something, I don't know... Sludge for the sludge god. That does not surprise me, because that ponytail is magnificent. It would be a crime against humanity if he ever lost that hair. Absolutely. But Todd also when they're in tight, James has that to grab Oh, grabs the 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 chain fence with his hand. Paulson's head's on the other side, but he's wide open for left hook. But Paulson can't see because Yeah, I choked on my own spit, literally, Sebastian. That is what happened. I got really excited and choked on my own spit. It happens way too frequently. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, David F. I actually did do a video on Felony Charles Bennett, but it was, I think it was actually the first video I did, maybe second, and it's just, it's really shaky, uh, technically, the script was written in a day, the editing was done in maybe two or three days. Um, so I just uh, yeah I unlisted it there a while ago. So when you're early ones? Yeah, it was like second maybe. But uh, maybe at some stage I'll, I'll revisit uh, Felony and do a proper video on him. Is that his nickname or did he commit one? Uh, that's his nickname. But he also committed several. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little too excited by James Waring's bulge. That's why. You... Oh, he almost pulled down his pants. <laughs> Which one, purple or the purple was pulling or down Riff Raff's pants. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if I'm gonna look at an ass, you want to see? I want to see purple, purple ass. ass. Yeah. yeah. Purple I look, look at that ass, hair pulling, man. Ass. And here's uh, Razor Ramon on the side in his camo pants, just fucking chewing some gum and yelling encouragement. He's like, pull the fucking hair. I mean, it is no hold bar, so you kind of can't get mad you at can, him for pulling you can the pull hair. His, also, he can pull his pants down if he really wants to. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's <laughs> not in the rules. It doesn't say. Pants him and then punch him in the jaw. <laughs> and now you know, if I ever pants you out of nowhere, a punch to the jaw is coming. <laughs> David Cantu, maybe at some point I might do a McGregor sequel, just a, a where are they now when, you know, he eventually explodes in a shower of cocaine and uh, PEDs. Sebastian. Um, way back in the day when we first were dating and stuff, I would watch it with him. And I've kind of watched it with him on and off. And I don't, I'm not like super into it, but I know some stuff. 
Yeah. And I don't hate it either. I mean, out of all sports, it's the easiest for me to watch that I don't hate. I don't like when there's blood everywhere, though. I think that needs to be stopped quicker. I know, you know, Just Bleed and all that, you're, but like... Like, you're technically a member of the Just Bleed gang, but you don't really I'm the like fucking just, manager! But you don't like when people just bleed. And not just bleed everywhere, yeah! <clears throat> Dubious, equivocal. Okay, I've got a story about the hair pulling for Hoist Gracie and Chemo. Apparently, Chemo's manager, the night before, was begging Chemo to shave his ponytail off. Because um, he was like, you know, uh, this, it, he's going to try and pull your hair, blah, blah, blah. They were straight up begging Chemo to shave his ponytail, and he refused to do it. And in the end, Gracie pulled that ponytail, and that's what won, won him the fight. That's some insider knowledge I got when I talked to uh, a person. Chemo's uh, manager. Yeah, just bleed reasonably. reasonably. Yeah, yeah, just bleed a little bit. Just, yeah. I may not be a fan of Herb, Herb Dean's work. They, they're not, you're fucking me up because you make fun of me all the time. Um, but I am a big fan of Herb Dean, though. I want to hug him. He does seem like a nice Just guy. Just a nice guy. But his refereeing is gone. And he's, he's very dogs. tall, and I am very short, so I want to give him a hug. Oh, it's too tired for this. Hey, how's it going, too tired for this? Good to hear you. Or good to see you, man. I agree, Spectre. Blood for the blood god. Well, you're mopping it up, okay? Skulls for the skull throne. Yeah, we used to watch uh, cage matches and then fuck, Bart. That is what gets us going, yeah. especially me. It's the bloodlust. It's where the saying comes from. But not a lot of blood. Lust. A reasonable amount reasonable of blood, amount a of lot blood. of lust. Yes. Hey, RC Blazer, man. Good to see you. Oh, more uh, balls. A knees to the balls. Vapid Zero, I feel like once the hair pulling stopped, yeah, this fight kind of uh, fell off a little bit. Chill pulls his pants off. Yeah, yeah, we need some more testicle shots, hair pulling. Oh, there we go. He's reefing at that ponytail. Freeman, Richard, you get it. He doesn't make me watch uh, UFC, though. Cats and dogs are better. Um, oh, that was a nice headbutt. I think that surprised wearing Ray. I don't think he thought Paulson could score like that. No, he was very quick with that shot. But he's back again with his hand. He should use one of his hands. Try to drop. How is there any hair left on that guy's head? Mm -hmm. That is a ridiculous amount of hair pulling. I mean, a little bit's all right, but, you know. <laughs> Greg Woods, thank you, man. Um, yeah, I had, uh, I had a lot of fun on uh, Sean Baby's podcast. I was very happy to be on that. He's a legit uh, inspiration to me. Stro Strokes Lover. Oh, wait, what's somebody called Strokes Lover doing in this chat? I thought everybody who likes the Strokes hates me. Uh, Sebastian Vega, this is from 1995. This is World Combat Championship. So this has been 10 minutes of hair pulling and pants tugging. It's just the warm up, obviously. <laughs> it's foreplay. Get to it already. Get to fucking. <laughs> <clears throat> Kiss him. <laughs> Punch him in the dick. Got after my little 
choking incident. Oh, my throat's all fucked up. Could you? Could you? You couldn't let it go, could you? The strokes do suck. I'm sorry. He's just leading him just around the <laughs> ring by his fucking ponytail. <laughs> uh, Sludge, if you're if you're happy with uh, Sean Baby, Bob Sapp, and the others, Bass Rutten, you're gonna shit your pants when you see uh, who Fight Circus are potentially lining up uh, to be, you know, the next person to give me a shout out. Hey, packed with Paimon. Thank you. I appreciate you and your obvious love for Genshin Impact. Ahem, David F. I did see Greg Hardy get KO'd today and I loved every second of it. Fuck that guy. I know this is no hold barred, but I kind of feel like at this point they should say, look, no hair pulling, because it's getting kind of ridiculous. Like, just tap, or you're not yeah. going to have any of that hair left. This is fucking ten minutes of hair pulling. Waffle House or friendly employees would have definitely won this fight already. Can you confirm or deny that being an employee of friendly? <clears throat> I think you need to shut up. I told you that story in confidence. <laughs> Um, Joe League, I don't think Munson gives out anything for free, except fucks. Uh, Sebastian, hair pulling is illegal nowadays, but clearly not back in these days. Sean O'Malley's in an open relationship? This I did not know. It really has been virtually all of the fight, and you, you hate to keep harping on it, yeah. but your issue with regards to practicality versus vanity is right on the money. I'm sorry, Strokes Lover, I'm sorry. I will go as far as saying last night is not a bad song. Looks like they're just wearing sports socks. Mm, yeah, kind of. This is ankle wraps. His fingers are fucking embedded in that hair. Maybe he's not really pulling it anymore. Maybe he's, he's stuck. That's what I was Maybe thinking. He's, he's stuck. actually just caught in the ponytail. He's fucking Akira ing into the ponytail. I don't know, James. I don't really keep up with uh, Sugar's podcasts or any of that shit. So, uh, I, him being in an open relationship is is news to me. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Each to their own. That's fine. And it is kind of on brand for O'Malley. What is this fucking knee slapping bullshit? I feel like with the advantage of grabbing the ponytail, this guy has done very little to uh, capitalize on. Oscar, if I'm honest, I have not been paying attention to any of these fights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to watch the chat and um, 
and you know, watch and, the fights yeah, at the same it's time. Impossible. You kind of only dip back into the fights when you actually see somebody get knocked out or something like that. Because for the most part, you're just reading the chat. Um, Devin Clark, the MMA depressed us. That's is that an MMA on point thing? Oh, finally. I think he is stuck. <laughs> Sorry, if yeah. not, he's just an asshole. He's no, he's just an asshole. Tail. Oh yeah. I'm actually just impressed the ponytail was still in. Like, I mean, how had it not just come loose? I mean, Jesus Christ, what kind of elastic band was in that fucking thing? And none that I know of, I can tell you that. <laughs> and gentlemen, the winner of the semifinals in the strikers division with a time of 16 minutes and 8 seconds, winning by submission, James Jr. Well, at least we got a bit of face stomping. Look at that ponytail on the other dude on Razor Ramon, though. That was magnificent. In the semi-finals, Bart Vale was supposed to go up against Henzo... Oh, bloody elbow. Thanks, Devin. Yeah, I've, I've, I've read it a few times, or, I think. I know the name. It sounded familiar to The one with the beautiful heart. I am loving Razor Ramon's whole fucking thing he has going on. The camo pants, the boots, the tank top, chain. It was an exciting battle between Jerry Flynn and Fred Floyd. Our preliminary bout this evening features a couple of big, big bodies, Jerry Flynn and Fred Floyd. Jerry Flynn's expertise is in the Japanese art of shoot fighting, whereas Fred Floyd prefers the Budokan Kung Fu, which is north... I mean, watching this now, I'm actually not all that surprised that uh, this was the only event World Combat Championship oh, ever Cape, had. Cape is back. Oh, no, Cape No, was, that's not him? Cape was in the first one we watched. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Budokan Kung Fu versus Shoot Fighting. The other guy kind of reminds me of the thumb. Yeah, yeah, has the thumb, like, fucking morphed into, like, an index finger or something. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, God, look this at that wallet. Too. Jesus Christ. Like, honestly, I thought we had dispensed with the mullet come the mid-90s. Like, because I, I can remember the mullets being uh, just like a, a running joke among our friends. We'd yeah, if you were them. young, but if you were like in your 30s in the 90s, everybody yeah. still had mullets. <laughs> um, <laughs> you want to you wanna answer that one? <laughs> if I try to do it, I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, God. Marionette C asked very <clears> nicely. <throat> so. The Grave Digger! You're welcome. That's all you get. Everybody gets one. The Mangler Floyd is a six foot four inch, 340 pound professional bodyguard from Ontario, California. An expert in Budokan Kung Fu. Jerry Flynn. Jerry. Diversity is a style that are there. And they have my favorite, which is full contact fighting. Floyd says his work in personal security has honed his intuition and reflexes. He says to win... In That's the a thick city, boy. You've got to be a thinking fighter, Fred Floyd. Thinking about doing some damage in the WCC. Well, he is certainly animated for this. As you can see, he literally runs into... E. G. Williams, thank you, man. Here's our chance to get to see whether or not somebody over 300 pounds can be successful in an event like this, which lasts... Sebastian Vega asks... When you see a fighter for the first time, what does it what does it take you to think, oh, this guy's serious? Capes. Mullets. Sequins of any description. Incredibly tight pants. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pants so tight your balls are just, you know, brightly visible. Ass so fat, it's in the future and the past. Yeah, yep. yeah. All these things are yep. what I would consider a real fighter. And if you're somebody that likes big bodies, take a look at this tail of the tape. 6'4 and 6'4, 235 versus 340. And his is it the same? Is it the cape guy from <laughs> Valley 2? <Tudo? laughs> because I, I feel bad for thinking it's the same guy, but like. 
I think it might be. Because I honestly, I did not see that dude's name. Oh, it is. It's Fred Floyd. Yeah, it's, so it is yeah, the same guy. So I'm not guy. being a horrible person. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, it is. It is. Oh, now he's 340. Jesus, he packed on a few pounds since uh, Valley Tudo. <laughs> okay, everybody should enjoy chicken and waffles mid-mod. I was thinking in a 3 a.m. fever dream that I would make chicken and waffles for dinner and then woke up in the light of day and I'm not fucking making waffles. They're a pain in the ass. Much to my disappointment. Yeah, my money's on the mullet. I think mullet's got this. I would like to see another... Uh, no, mullet does not have this. <laughs> <laughs> mullet really doesn't have this. That is a fucking hell of a moment. Just the way it hangs down there like a glorious waterfall. He's grabbing the mullet. He is grabbing the mullet. I'm going for an Americana. Every time you say that, I'm like, they're not ordering coffee. <laughs> No, I thought I heard biscuit. Biscuit's on the couch. Less than forty seconds now on the floor. Now Jerry Flynn just missed an opportunity for a headlock there. And so this whole event has just mostly been hair pulling. It's like he's trying to climb a mountain. Chubby chocolate bear. <laughs> he's a CCB. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like they're going to stand them up if they stay on the floor for longer than 15 seconds. Except not in that last fight. No, no, no. Well, they were up against the cage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. But realistically, they should have done that. Yeah. Oh, we're going to see a really bad attempt at a heel hook here. You leave DC alone, Ben. Don't badmouth DC around my wife, Ben. She will fight you. But the reality is, is I don't think those are that punishing. No, I don't think so. I, again, or, you know, Floyd is doing what he's got to do by using his weight on him. But he's got the opportunity to do a head choke or a headlock here, and he's not doing it. He tapped out. That's it. Flint That's tapped it. out. He did it. The Mangler. 340 pounds oh, on the choke. Elbow to the spine. He's able to get the victory. That was a very intense match in a short period of time. Damn, Sebastian, yeah, you just saw the first finish. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the third preliminary fight. Fighting time. I'm actually not sure what even happened there. You tapped to uh, Mullet. Mullet Endangerment. DC is a treasure. A national treasure. This is what it's going to be for the championship match. Enzo that is some Samoan bone crushing in action. Now, Freeman Witcher, we do not love John Jones in this house. Alright, James Waring looks creepy as fuck in that picture, Yeah, he right? does. He looks, um, he's like leering at yeah, you. Yeah. Like, yeah, 100%. See, is he still in the purple shirt? He's not in purple shorts. No, this is uh, Hamza coming oh. out as gay. Oh, 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 oh. Tom, I gotta tell you, taking a look at the face of James Waring. I would be surprised if Waring has changed out of his lucky purple trunks. I'll tell you though, 
Todd, he, he doesn't look as fatigued as you would expect him to be. I mean, he just exudes confidence going into the ring. I, the guy's recovery powers are amazing. Well, the tail of the tape is coming up. They got shorter. I swear to God, they are <laughs> straight up coochie cutters at this point. <laughs> Is he wearing his son shorts or something? <laughs> like, I can hear him going, mm. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly the vibe yeah. I'm picking up. Um... Are all these fights on the same night? Yeah, this was all. Uh, this was a one-night event. So at this stage, James Waring and Henzo have all had three fights. I think. Oh my, why? Why with the zoom in on James Waring's bulge? We did not need the MMA Goblin King. Who might need to be? Niggas. Zoom and enhance on the porch. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this event? Between the hair pulling and the fucking extreme close ups of this guy's package, I'm not sure I can take it anymore. Uh, Freeman Witcher, I believe you were talking about pumps on a bump. The video that actually got banned from it. Uh, if you uh, if you try and re-upload that to YouTube, you will likely get uh, uh, age gated for an 18 year old video. Uh, I know this because I put it into uh, my video about Ultimate Fighter, I think. But uh, Hammer's package was just too hot for YouTube. Hammer, don't hurt him. Yeah, Hammer, get your fucking dick out of my face. <laughs> Was the alternate title for that <laughs> It is just really low shots of him thrusting his crotch yeah, into the camera, right? He's, and he's like in a leopard thong. Is it a leopard thong? It's, yeah, like a little tiny little leopard budgie smuggler, and he is just swanging his fucking nuts around. <laughs> like, you can see them fucking bounce. It's, yeah. <laughs> oh, and it's not on YouTube? Uh, no, it's there, but I think it's like a oh, from, censored from, from the waist up yeah. or something. <laughs> That's that is a view we really did not need of James Waring's cock again. Can practically see his entire taint. <laughs> there is something unsettling about those eye pants looking at uh, his bulge. If I was going to pick a vid outer webs, it would not have been this one. <laughs> <laughs> And he just tapped to uh, full mount, I guess. Are they not wearing cups? Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like they're wearing cups, because I mean, you can clearly see the, the outline of wearing his lad. His lad, huh? His lad. He's a small man. Good, so no, I haven't tried Street Fighter 6. Um, I can't play Street Fighter without a, an arcade stick, and I don't have one anymore, so not for me. Nobody wants that. Why are you throwing that into the crowd? That's gross. Uh, uh, he's a uh, shitty, shitty winner. 
this, this is the same neck crack that I showed I showed Ray a couple days ago, and, and it's incredibly painful. And he's got his weight down on him, and there's just no way to sustain it. You're gonna break a neck, broken neck if you don't tap out. And you saw the left hand, and once again, Henzo Gracie. That was a beautiful attempt at a takedown, Squid. Go down, tapping out, it's all over for him. And you saw the you saw the hand across the throat and against the back yeah, that, of the neck. Yeah, that was just a tap to mount pretty much. Let's get up to Richard. Possibly an Ezekiel choke, maybe? Henzo Gracie, the tradition continues. Wonderful job. What was your strategy? I mean, I think it was reasonably obvious to those watching. Oh yeah, no, it was an Ezekiel. Fighting a boxer, he's known for a powerful right hand. You did the obvious thing, take him down to the ground. Yeah, I feel that, that powerful hand. It's going something on my head here now. <laughs> I just did what I know. There is fight grappling and I grapple him. If he knew some grappling. So, Napoleon, when you wear short shorts, don't you, you know, worry about your junk falling out all the time? Or is that part of the allure? Uh, I mean, it's the danger factor, yeah. It's yeah. really what gets you That's, going. Yeah, yeah. 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 just that, that thrill that maybe you might pop out and have somebody notice it and be too embarrassed to tell you about it. I wouldn't be too embarrassed to tell anybody about that. <laughs> I don't like making excuses. Yeah? I'm very sorry I lost. But, you know, my, you know, back in my thighs kept cramped. I tried to flip him, but my leg got cramped. And he, and he won the, the fucking fight. mullet count I, in this I, uh, event is off the chart. Okay, nothing to be sorry about. I mean, this guy's got a pretty decent right, mullet ship. going on. I mean, it's like not as good as uh, Peters, Chris, the other dude. Or Razor Ramon back there. Nobody could uh, say we didn't have some amazing athletes in here tonight, and the, the, the expertise was unbelievable. Yeah, every athlete in here was uh, world class. Their conditioning was, I mean, I was totally blown away. These guys are great fighters. Got some great fights. Everybody in is a champion in my eyes. And, I and know the that is a eyes. head of hair. I'm a big fan of everyone here, and I'm also proud to... Uh, it looks like a fucking uh, Fallout 3 creator character. Fucking haircut. Congratulations, Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to be brutal. For the people back home. I don't... I don't have words to thank the people who work on the event. <laughs> Jack and Hagar with the belt. Not as good looking as Jack and Hagar. Mm -mm. And a big hug and all the American people who, who chose me to yellow in my... I bet Henzo treasures that belt till this day. You'll be back? Sure. Okay. It's like, I got this for stepping okay. on so many thank necks. Okay, it's over to you. Okay, tremendous competition for Bob Wall, Ray Mancini, Richard Norton, SMG, Tom I am kind of jealous, you know, Chris being a uh, non-hair haver. So long from the World Combat Champion. Do get a little jealous when I see these mullets and uh, so, uh, that dude, uh, the announcer there in the the suit, he like the bounce on that hair was beautiful. His hair actually might be nicer than mine. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just voluminous. I guess is the best word to describe it. And that was World Combat Championship and World Valley Tudo Championship 1. Here we see the, uh, the few highlights from the entire event. Most of them center around uh, James Waring's dick. Oscar Rojas, uh, I, I don't like the term bald, I prefer uh, aerodynamic. No, you have bald hair. <laughs> I have bald hair, as my niece uh, told okay. us, yes. He, he, he has bald hair. Yeah, agreed, Sean, the best part of that event was James Waring's knob. Gave us the most entertainment, anyway. Thank you, D-Wild Apache. Appreciate it. Hey, Jimbus. Yeah, you just missed it, man. We've uh, been streaming for the last two hours, watching some uh, pretty, pretty funky uh, 90s MMA. 
It was bad. It was, it was, yeah, there was a few, few good moments, I think. Capes. Yeah, the capes were good. Um, the dicks were good. Some uh, nice mullets on display. Uh oh, we're going to jail. Oh no, shit, quick, get this off the screen. They should give that award out, the best package at an MMA event. Yeah, yeah. They should let me give that award out. Mm. Mm. The booty package. All right, thank you guys. We're going to call it an evening for now. Uh, After looking at all that hot man-on-man action. Yeah, it was... mm. Just just getting me all hot and bothered. Thank you guys. Um, It was a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully we'll do something like this again soon. Good night. Uh, Good night, everybody. Take care. And just bleed. But only oh, responsibly. Responsibly. Just bleed, bleed responsibly. Yes, just bleed a little bit. Say, say, no. Is the mic still on? Say 33 trees. 33 trees. There you go. <laughs> All right. Take it easy, everybody. Good night. Good night. Blah.